It's normal to have mixed feelings about making a change. On one hand, you kind of want to do it. On the other hand, you're a little concerned about how this change might alter other areas of your life. Ambivalence. That's today's MI tip. My name's Dawn Clifford. I'm an MI trainer, also a nutrition and public health professor, and one of the authors of the book, Motivational Interviewing in Nutrition and Fitness. And today we're talking about ambivalence. Ambivalence simply means having mixed feelings about change. It's so normal for us to all have mixed feelings about change. And our clients express these mixed feelings about change through different things that they say during a session. So let's talk about the client language. A lot of what your client says can be categorized into two different groups, change talk and sustain talk. First, let's talk about change talk. Change talk is anything the client says that demonstrates that they are thinking about change. Change talk is anything that favors change that comes out of the client's mouth. Change talk sounds like, you know, I've been thinking about going for walks with my friend down the street. Change talk sounds like, gosh, I know I'd feel better if I just started moving my body more. Or, I really want to start saving money and I know if I eat out less often, that'll be a good place to start. Change talk is anything the client says in favor of change. Now let's talk about sustained talk. Sustained talk is the opposite. The sustained talk is anything the client says that suggests they're a little hesitant to make a change or they're more in favor of status quo. Sustained talk sounds like, oh man, I want to do this, but, and usually whatever comes after the but is sustained talk, such as, I'm nervous about how many dishes I'll have to do after I start cooking more meals at home. Or, uh, gosh, it's cold outside and I really hate uh, exercising in the cold. Uh, or I really hate exercising in the heat, right? And so clients have these very honest and authentic mixed feelings about change. On one hand, they wanna make this change, and on the other hand, they haven't yet because there are some really good reasons. And so, my challenge to you in today's MI tip is to start tuning your ears for ambivalence. Notice the change talk, notice the sustained talk. And in future videos, I'll talk about what to do when you hear the change talk and the sustained talk. But ambivalence is normal. Embrace it and allow your client an opportunity to talk through their ambivalence. My name's Dawn Clifford and today's MI tip is all about ambivalence.